everybody, it's Vampire Chicken, a Grandmaster at the Game of Risk, playing a game of Classic Fixed with a little bit of urgency. And we do have some insanity going on. Now, too bad Orange is going to knock me out of Australia, obviously. But look at this blizzard, look at this blizzard. We got two-point Africa. White already wants to be my ally. That means White's some strong player. I'm in a death fight for Australia, hopefully. And here's the reason that I'm saying we got a little urgency today. Because later today, and, and by later I mean within 45 minutes or less, this alarm is going to go off. And when this alarm goes off, it means I need to go pick up my kids from school. So like it or not, the game has to be fast. So let's keep some high-octane gameplay today. Uh, and see what we can do. Now, General Longshanks somehow resisted first turn Australia. I do not know how they 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 found this within them, but I appreciate it because I want Australia. You tell me Middle East Blizzard, I see two point Asia hold. And I'm psycho and we gotta be fast and we're going for it. General Coley, I just hope you guys all know, I'm not here to stalemate the game. I'm here to force the issues. I think I just heard a noise upstairs, but it's probably nothing, okay? It's not like a ghost or something. White, let's go. This is what we need. Extracted. You know you're going to blast red. You know. Take South America. <laughs> Fails to take South America. Humiliating. Humiliating. Well done. Well done. Now, am I about to punch a six on turn number one? Like, why not, though, right? Why would I not just punch orange? White is quick. Oh, oh what? Wait, White's actually, like, a strong player. He's so fast. Like, he's got to be pretty good. White slams out. They move on to the next game. Oh, this is perfect. I actually can be nice to Orange now. Sorry you're offline. No sweat, man. This is the kind of... That's the pace I'm talking about, okay? Thanks for doing it quick, like. Slurchy and go. Is going to move into South America. Everybody wants South America. Let's go. <laughs> Don't hit me. You wouldn't hit me, Green. I think Green is going to go for South America. He's waiting to see what Red wants, or is he just going in? Because Red also has a very a lot of troops come in. So if you slam all of this, I mean, Red could just come over the top. You get a bad roll on some of this, Red might be going for it. Also, Purple has a giant stack near the honeypot. This, everybody's going to go nuts for it. And we love that. We love that. Okay. Now, I hope Orange knows that I am a psycho, but I'm also a nice kind of guy. 53%? Okay, well, let's go this way. I'm just indicating to Orange my intention on the next move. I'm taking Australia, and I'm conquering the whole right side of the board, okay? Everyone's going to fight for this. We're just going to try to take Asia, okay? We're going nuts today. Red is adding in. Let's go. Red adds immediately in and then closes the door. Green is not allowed to escape. General Barack, I love your style. I love that you're here to just mess with this guy. Now, this is ridiculous. Like, Green might... You want to probably give Green the opportunity to at least run away. But there ain't no running away, okay? It's all going down, and it's going down now. Now, I signaled to Orange. I've offered an alliance. I have signaled that I am going to be hitting this. Failure to move the six will result in a noob slam for Australia. So, choose wisely, Orange. Choose very wisely, indeed. Do not just hit this and then leave a random stack there. That is not going to be working out for me. <laughs> I'm taking Australia. And then it looks like nobody's here in North America. Oh, is he going to bot out? Come on. Wait. Why? Why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? Just roll out. And if you want Europe, you know, just keep a stack around here. Why is Orange quitting the game? Okay. I understand why White did it. He didn't get the honeypot. White actually could be, like, expert plus. Like, I know he's going to get last place, but he's he could actually be a pretty strong player. He's really fast. Orange. Okay, get slammed, you noob. I'm taking Australia. I'm just going to hit the bot. Now, there's two bots. Who's left? Purple is coming down here. I mean, look at this. Look at this honeypot fight, dude. <laughs> this is amazing. Wait, so Orange did this thing that people do where they just leave a bunch of random threes, fours, whatever, and then they, like, leave. I see this a lot. I think it's a genuine strategy that people are actually using. Because it relies on the bots being better than you at risk. But I think if you think the bot is better than you at risk, you can just have the bot that then spreads, like, all over the place. I mean, I'm just hitting the six, bro. I don't I don't care about any of that. Green is trying to stay away from Rad. Okay, so Green is going to try to escape Rad. 
Red and purple are going to be in here. So green is going to try to start a life in North America, and perhaps they shall succeed. So green is, I think, my biggest threat here. Uh-uh. Smash! There we go. Orange asks for an alliance. Oh, orange is back. Oh. <laughs> you came back. A little bit late. Johnny Smash Your Stack has logged on, and I've taken what's rightfully mine. I accept your alliance. Now, Red is going to post this up here, and then he's going to slam a bunch of green. Green is, in my mind, the strongest opponent. Now, there's something I do when I play Risk that I know a lot of viewers do not like. But I think that it's, like, the most helpful thing that you can possibly do when playing Risk. I'm always putting my the players that I'm playing against, my opponents, on some sort of range. I think, at the current moment, of the players that are alive and haven't bought it out... I think green is the strongest. I think green is like almost going to kill white here on the next turn. But because I think green is the strongest, they might actually be my focus of a lot of attention. Don't hit the... Really? You're going to hit the seven? <laughs> uh, and so I will play differently based around my opponent's strengths. And in the past, I've, I always get comments like, oh, you, why would you fight the guy that you thought was stronger and you kept the, the weaker player into the endgame? Well, it's I'm trying to figure out who I think I can beat in the endgame, and I'm trying to get him there. So if I do anything untoward towards white in the next couple turns, or towards green, sorry, well, it's because I think he's the strongest player. So if I go fight for North America now or do something insane, you can understand why, okay? And I think he's good because he's he realized he wanted this honeypot. He realized, okay, red is just crazy. He's not going to let me do it. He decided to pivot his game completely. Uh, he's trying to get out. He's trying to like he's trying to signal the players. He's doing a lot of he's got a lot of tech that the other players don't have. I can't kill white because of this. I don't think I'm the one that's going to get the kill on white. But he's obviously like green is obviously has a very good idea of what's happening here. If I feed the white cards to red, would fun stuff happen? If I hit this, then it's very, it's easy for stuff to happen. If you know what I mean by stuff. Um, I'm going to set up to kill green. Green is going to hate this move so much. He's so mad. Green is so mad right now. <laughs> like the most evil thing to do to green. Uh, just stack up on him. <laughs> It's like the most evil thing to do. But if green loses this six, I'm, you know, I'm probably going to go try to eliminate them. And I'm making it very painfully obvious. So is red going to come in and hit this six now? That would be delightful. He's not. Okay. So green is immune from me as long as he keeps that position alive. Orange is also pretty weak. Getting Europe would make sense. So if I kept everybody in one stack to try to get orange, that also would have made a lot of sense. A kill on orange would be some combo attack. Like, the nine has to come over. Like I can, so at some point, try to go for orange. Because they might end up on four cards. And they missed a card because of the botting out thing. But it's good to see orange back. And orange is going to cautiously try to take the middle of the board. Does purple hit this? I wonder where purple's going to get a card. Okay, they're going to get a card. They're going to hit rad. Okay. because But then there's going to be some noob stuff going on down here. So white bot is now going to take a third card. And that's when green is going to eliminate the bot, get a turn in. So the fact that I've put up some sort of attack on green, it might, it might backfire. But we are going to play fast, loose, and aggressive, given the, the time constraints, okay? We got less than 30 minutes here. We are going to put the pedal to the metal. We're going to play as hard and aggressive as we can. So green does have a turn in. They still might go ahead and eliminate white. Yeah, okay. So they're eliminating white. That's what that means. Will they do anything after that? Will they try to kill orange? If they were trying to kill orange, they probably would have done this a little, this part a little bit different. Let's see how they do it. Okay, they are not trying to eliminate orange at the end of this. Okay. Are they going to hit my five? Probably. Okay. Are they going to clear North America now? They have to hit eight troops if they want to take the bonus right now. But I am kind of near them. Are they going to hit eight troops and then stack on me? What would I do? I don't have a trade-in. Answer? I probably won't do very much. Yeah, it does stack on me. Okay. 
So I will be taking a card over here, I suppose. And stacking on green. <laughs> Come kill me, bro. Come kill me. Red with a turn in will probably take all of this. And there should be some, some fighting that goes on in here. It would be nice to have more on one stack that we could go eliminate other players. If it doesn't work out, like I'm I'm hard focusing green, like at least overtly. But I am keeping my eyes, you know, for orange. If orange ends up on four, that might be a good direction. If purple slams into red or something crazy happens, who knows? Go out. Yes, baby. So red goes to aggress purple. Because red is just fighting for the honeypot at all costs. Purple can't get to this three. But green can. Orange makes it to a trade-in. They're going to be taking Europe here. Okay. Which is very sensible in their position. So orange is very strong. Green is going to hate me because green is good, so they understand that I'm, you know, obviously messing with them. Because I obviously am. <laughs> Purple does have an exterior. If they don't add anything to this, I mean, I'm going to remove purple and put them in one position. If they have five cards, though, I mean, it's red that's going to be able to kill them. Red would be so strong if like, we fed them purple. Purple's just going to hit red or what? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Yeah, forget red. Yeah, forget him. <laughs> okay. They're going to try to slow roll red. <clears throat> okay. So purple is going to lose. Red is going to hit them. Turn order here doesn't really help me out too much. Because red is going to hit purple. Then either orange is going to get it. But orange can't kill red. Orange can kill purple. I'm c very concerned that green is going to be able to take advantage of it. But green taking advantage of this, they would have to probably go through orange. That's the good thing. Okay. So a bunch of slow rolls. Red's not going to take too kindly to it. But purple intentionally doesn't take a card because they, you know, had to prove whatever point. Now, is green going to seriously mess with me? Okay, he is going to take North America, looks like. Okay. I think this is a very good play by green. Green is buried to my Australia stack, currently. Now I could, can I slam green? <laughs> green doesn't have a turn in. <clears throat> Do I win if I slam green? <laughs> it's such an insane move. 23 on 15. Could win. Could win. Mm. Orange is going to be happy, of course. Get smashed. A perfect turn. Green, he made a big mistake of representing himself as being strong. Nobody shall be strong in my lobby. Okay, Red just smashes purple. <laughs> he just goes directly for the big snack, but doesn't remove purple. He's just taking a card in the most violent way possible. Orange should win this game, but I'm not sure if they'll... They will. I don't know. Orange has the best bonus. They're the one that hasn't been slammed. Orange should win this game, but will they? And I'm just, I, we kind of need to make sure that we eliminate green before green can do anything to us. Cool. So they're just taking a card and chilling out. Okay, pretty wide. Everybody else is fighting around you if you're orange. So yeah, I think that's a great play. Purple. Are you going to take a card? You got a lot more value if you take a card. <laughs> no, they're not taking a card. That's awesome. <laughs> Orange should be able to kill red. Or, sorry, purple should be able... Or, yeah, Orange should be able to kill red. Kill red. Kill purple. Kill green. And a thumbs up. I want Orange to see it. I want them, to, you know, to come in and just kill everybody and then be nicer to me. I'm trying to establish some sort of relationship with Orange because I think he's about to make the decision that <laughs> decides the entire game. Me fighting green, you know, more than kind of sort of gives the advantage to the other guy. 
All right, good luck to us, Green. We're both gonna die, of course. We're both gonna die. He's gonna stack on me. I guess what other option do you have? Um. <clears throat> okay, that's fair. That's very fair. Not strong enough to kill this guy, right? Okay. I assume green will come slam me out of there. But I'm setting up to kill green first before he can kill me. I don't have a trade in. Uh, red is going to feed purple. <clears throat> I should have fed purple to red, right? But then he'd have five cards and orange could still go take it. Orange didn't reply, which makes me think orange, you know, might not work with me too much. But here orange can win the game easily. Orange can easily win the game. <laughs> But I suspect that maybe they won't. And this is what everyone's going to be mad about in the comment section. We'll see if I got this all right. Orange can easily kill red and purple. Get five cards. Be wildly, amazingly strong. But they're not going to do that. Cool. What are they going to do? They're just going to take a card and they're going to pass. Okay. They open... No, they don't, they don't open green up to hit me. Okay, so the green is still blocked. This stack is blocked from hitting my bonus. Green might get a turn in before me. I guess purple's going to slow roll this. So I think orange is going to misplay this. And I know that I know everybody's angry. I know you guys are all angry. I think if I eliminate orange, uh, green, that I win the game. They're, they're good. <laughs> Everything they've done has been great. Like, they've handled the situation as well as you can. I'm, I'm beating them from here. But if they get a turn in, they can definitely ruin my game, you know? Okay. Tough one. Okay, so green just slams me in frustration. So green should be very dead. <clears throat> Interesting that orange didn't kill anybody. Do I have enough? I should have enough to eliminate green now. This actually was probably the first really atrocious mistake by green. Because now I think I actually will be strong enough. Because I got 10 troops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the 10 just takes out this, and the 15 takes out the rest. Then, with the trade-in that I get, I'm not strong enough to go through orange and kill the other players. I will have North America. So I'm not sure... Oh, can I get this? Let's see if we can slide carefully. Otherwise, are we... Uh, come on. <laughs> it's so tight. We might not get this. We might be feeding. We might be feeding. Or are we? Oh my god. Oh, I thought I got it. Okay. Green is still here. Okay. So green is going to turn in and slam me if nobody kills him. <laughs> Let's see how it goes down. Kill green. <laughs> <laughs> orange should win the game like so easily orange should win this game everybody is insanely weak he can kill everybody he can just easily mop up the board i thought that i was gonna have enough here to eliminate green but green's gonna turn in and hit my 15 stack now for sure because he the green is obviously just gonna try to ruin my game so a part of me thought like should i just remove all of green from here but then i don't know green's just i don't know it's just it's very expensive if he's got a trade and he's going to come hit my stack, great. If I had a trade in, then, you know, I would have killed green. And I think I'm really in this game. It would be interesting to see how orange would have handled it. Now, lots of cards. Oh, my God. This is orange wins on this turn. For sure. Like, for sure. It just easily wins on this turn. He can kill everybody. He can kill green, red, purple, me. He can, he can do literally everything here. He could kill anybody in basically any order, too. Like, he can, he can basically decide anything. 69 troops. So let's see if Orange wins the game. They've spent a lot of time, so they're not, not doing anything too wild. Let's see how they decide to do it. I suppose I would I would go for green because it was easiest and fed. Or maybe he is going for me. Was he talking to some other people? Okay, he does go for green, and he leaves me alone. Okay, that's fantastic. Aha, and he removes all of purple from there? No, he's not going for purple yet. Okay. Does eliminate green. Cool. 
cool with that. <clears throat> that's four cards. I mean, that's huge. That's now you just easily win this game mode. But he doesn't do any more than that. Okay. So how do I now... Like, now we basically... Like, I guess we have to fight Orange. Or we just have to get North America and see if Orange is chill with it. But Orange doesn't win the game on that turn. Purple ends on four cards. Red is not going to be able to kill Purple. But they're going to feed... They're going to feed the game to the other guy. Uh... Orange is buried to me. I don't think Orange is going to kill me. Let's let's take this here. Have an alliance? Absolutely. Let's thumbs up Orange, because they can kill me if they want to. Attack Purple. Oh. I should have fed Purple to Red, honestly. That would have been a great play. I should have fed Purple to Red. Red was a little slow with the alliance. But he might be able to get to Purple, you know, through a little bit of Orange. A measly 18, 19 troops up here. I would have done this if actually if I had if I had really thought about it I would have fed purple to red because he could take that and then immediately fight orange. I just thumbed up orange, but I think they're gonna hit me now really hard because I have North America, and Australia, and they're twice as big as me. <laughs> so I assume they will kill me. They should take out purple before me, but once you take out purple, I'm hoping you're aimed at red. But we'll see. We'll see how orange decides to handle it. Okay, I think he's going for purple, so he's going through red and into purple. No, he does hit me. Crazy. Okay, if purple doesn't trade in, I will feed him to red because I need, I need red's help, and together we can fight this guy. So again, I'm orange by not taking eliminations. I think is missing a lot of cards. I mean, killing purple is just—it's so many cards. Purple turns in, and they're just gonna slam red. So that's horrendous. <laughs> Okay. Now it doesn't really matter if... It doesn't matter if red kills purple. But hopefully we can use a, a little distraction here. I... Don't think that I can hit orange and survive. Maybe if I can break this with a trade... Hmm. Like, we have to fight orange. Red, attack, purple, attack, orange. Red understands. Okay, cool. Uh, it has to go down like that. We're going to put you here. I don't care if Orange breaks my Australia. It has to go down like this. Let's see if we're able to do it. So now he's going to go try to kill Purple. He's going to end on five cards, but then maybe maybe Orange doesn't do it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, Red's a homie. Okay, we can beat Orange. Let's go. Okay, Red is a super homie. Red is a super homie. That's awesome. Okay, we're actually going to defeat Orange. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> now what do you do if you're Orange? You just got hit by both players. And now it's not so obvious that they can win. They can kill red, but then that's like, that's it. They're aimed at red, so this is great for me. I thought red was gonna hit purple or wait a turn and then try to kill purple. Okay, are they, now they do go for red, wild. Oh no, they go for purple for two? Oh, they do go for red, okay. So th th things are changing. Things are changing wildly, wow. So orange takes out red, thanks red. <laughs> He really didn't have to do I didn't think he was going to do it the way. I said purple and then orange. He didn't have to hit it. He didn't have to do it right then. But he lays down his life. Okay. And now let's see. Maybe I can get purple on my team. Does purple want to be friends? We can try to fight them soon. It's not going to surprise me when he breaks my Australia. I, I fully anticipate it. I'm going to defend against purple. That is wild. He's just gonna, no bonus for purple. Yeah, forget purple. What? So everything is kind of buried. Orange is still has a great position, but he's very buried. Now, how does purple try to come back from this? I guess I would leave. I guess I would, like, run into Europe so that orange can have the, the honeypot. Maybe orange just wants this. Maybe purple goes pop, 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 and, like, runs away. Maybe they survive. But they're going to stay in Madagascar. They're going to bury in Madagascar. Oh, orange is going to pop you, dude. Orange is going to pop you. Oh, yeah. You're going to get popped. 
Now, Orange probably has a trade-in, so they will most likely hit me on this turn. For that reason, we temporarily do nothing. Okay. I'm not taking North America at this moment because I know Orange with a turn in probably is going to hit me no matter what. Here, if they want to break my bonus, come break Australia. That's just whatever. But they also might now go for purple, and then we just go straight to some endgame. They do want to break my bonus. They do not have a turn in. Okay, interesting. Oh, they do have a turn in. They want to break my bonus. Orange is going to want to fight me, and purple just wants to survive <laughs> in Madagascar for as long as possible. Um, I don't think we'll be able to kill purple at any moment here. But, but now, because I'm not here, he doesn't hit my stack. He just runs around. Okay. Is he going to leave a stack in there? Yes, he is. Okay, so we're going to try to go for North America then. Okay, so I think we're going for North America. Yeah, he's burying all of his troops. Okay, 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 okay. I don't mind this so much at all. I should be able to get uh, North America with my turn in. And then it looks like... Looks like Orange should be... We're just going to kill purple here at some moment. I mean, isn't this, like, insane for me now? Aren't I doing fantastically well? Uh, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to dedicate some number of troops to guarding this. Okay, we do get it. That number is four. And then this is going to stay here. Actually, this guy's just going to go here for now. Um, just keeping some sort of line on orange. I don't know. Maybe it's better to have a big stack. Orange probably can't mess with me until they get a trade. And they're aimed at purple. So it looks like they're going to go eliminate purple for four. We're going to go straight into this end game. No, he's not eliminating purple. Purple is going to make it to a trade in. Purple doesn't want to be my friend. Oh, he is going to kill purple. Okay, wonderful. And then we get to play the end game against orange. Where he gets a trade in now before me. So he actually can probably break my North America if he's got a good, decent trade. If I hold North America, maybe we have a chance. Uh, 24 will be able to break all of these bonuses. Hopefully we have enough to break Australia. He's at 60 troops, I'm at 54, but he's also, he's ahead on territory and cards. What trade did he just get? He got a 10 trade. Okay, that's enough to break North America. So Orange is in a considerable lead, okay. Does he get this? Yeah, great dice. So Orange is still hugely in the lead here. We'll have to we'll have to work hard to try to win this one. Uh, we're gonna hope that this can break Australia. This is coming this way. Let's slide a little bit here. Um, I know this opens his eleven, but it is pretty important that we break this. Risk five in here. Let's try to be accurate. We're we're behind a bit here, so we do want to be. Be accurate with our execution. <laughs> Hang on. Excuse me. If I'm able to win Australia. <laughs> oh, boy, are you in a little bit of trouble. Now let's Asia. Yeah, we got to guard our Australia by taking Asia. Now I'm going to take as much territory as I reasonably can up here. Uh, and we'll see how they defend against that. Lots of ways of doing this. Lots of ways of doing this. He probably has a trade. Uh, okay, you just defend Australia. Australia! Australia at all costs. So we're a little bit ahead now, but he's going to trade before us. He's going to win all of this back. Setting up to be able to deal with whatever he does here would have been good. I do not have a trade-in. If he holds this, it's going to be annoying. So there's a lot of things Orange can do here that are annoying, because I don't have a turn-in. So if he holds Africa and South America for a turn, it's going to be frustrating. But let's see if he can figure out a good way to do it. Because he's also got to break... At least this. So he might be considering if he's just going to break and then come around and break Australia. He's, he's, I think he still should win here. Orn should still win, I suspect. But let's see. How is he going to do it? He's leaving how many? Like eight, seven? He leaves all of them? Oh my god, he just wants the honeypot. Was that on purpose? Okay. Oh my god, he's just going to super defend South America. He does manage to break this, but I have a lot of territory. A lot. Oh, okay, he does come out. That might have been an accident. <laughs> to be honest, that might that might have been an accident. Um, let's make sure we take all of this out, just so that orange, orange is 
Uh, moving a little bit slowly. So let's see if we can get them... Okay, horrible dice. Let's see if we can get them to come do stuff over here. Okay, that did not work out very well. But we took Asia. And we should be able to break here. Uh, a little bit more troop reduction. And I'm going to put that guy here. Holding my Australia. That's what's holding me together. Now I should get a trade in before him. And that's where I'll be able to turn the, the table here. So plus twos might really matter. Northern Europe, Great Britain, Afghanistan. Okay, that's very important. He needs to do a lot more. He needs to reduce my territory significantly. He needs to break Asia. He's splitting. We are going to win this game. I, I, have the, I have the skills here to defeat this guy. I'm only getting a six trade. He needs to reduce my territory a lot. I'm getting so many of my troops just from territory. I'm holding, you know, a, uh, what's this one called? Australia. Yes, I'm holding Australia. But he's leaving me at 24, which means I get an additional troop. So... Uh, I think this is actually fantastic for me. I don't think we can kill him on this turn. We do want to take North America because it's just one more thing that he needs to focus on. We're not eliminating Orange on this turn. We're taking here. We're hopefully getting some good dice here. And now if we can take South America. Okay, I'm going to leave seven in there and try to do one more attack in Africa. <laughs> really good dice. We love that. He's got a six here. So I think what I'm... Well, actually, I... Hmm. I'm going to put them here in Congo. The Congo is strongo. And that way I can just start mopping up some more here. I'm going to win this game now. I think the game is, is over. He did have a turn in. It was a six stride. But now I'm way ahead in total troops. And I'm going to be able to win this game because I went into the end game with the right opponent. Tries a 10 on six. And I know this makes a lot of people mad, but I, from the very start, I identified who I thought was the strongest. I made sure I eliminated them. And it's a strategy that works really well. So I don't really care how you feel about it. I'm here to win games. <laughs> and, and finding the strongest guy, eliminating the guy that's going to make it harder for me winning the game, especially when we're out of time. We got a five minutes. You know, I'm looking at my timer. Five minutes? I mean, it's absolutely perfect. We can't eliminate him here on this turn. So let's one more turn go for this. I don't think I'm ever getting the honeypot. That makes me kind of sad. But kind of we did. We're, we'll, we'll, we'll take his whole honeypot away, destroy his hope. And then win the game, probably on the very next turn. So there you go. Would not be surprised if Orange decides to quit and bought out now. I uh, don't think I need a turn in. I'm just checking. Orange has bought it out, defeated. So Orange here had every opportunity and every right to win this game. What they needed to do was to be a little bit more aggressive about taking kills when they were in the winning position. Because if you don't take advantage of the initiative when the initiative is in your hands, it can easily fade away. And that's exactly what we saw here. So my approach was very risky, but I was here to play a very feisty game. It's, it's a very risky approach, you know, targeting somebody and giving somebody a win that you think that you can then dubiously beat in an end game. And that's what happened. So we beat the beginner in the end game uh green was only an intermediate red was an expert okay and there you go so hopefully you like this video if you did please make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys for the next video